Morning, everyone. It's Monday, and it's the Feast of St. John de Brief and Isaac Job's priests and companions and their martyrs. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. You know, we are certainly blessed in this country. We have so much of everything. So as you begin, let's kind of reflect on the blessings we receive and what Jesus calls us to do. For the times we forgot that we're all created in the image and likeness of God, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who chose to manifest the blessed hope of your eternal kingdom with the toil of St. John and Isaac Jogues and their companions, and by shedding of their blood, graciously grant that through their intercessions the faith of Christians may be strengthened day by day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading of the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, and which you once lived following the age of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses, and we were by nature children of wrath, like the rest. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved, raised us up with, with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you, it is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works, that God has prepared in advance that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord made us, we belong to him. The Lord made us, we belong, belong to, to him. him. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. The Lord, the Lord made, made us, we, we belong, belong to, to him. him. Know that the Lord is God, he made us. His we are, his people, the flock he tends. The, the Lord, Lord made, made us, we belong, we belong to, to him. him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. The Lord, Lord made, made us, we belong, we belong to him. him. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for he is good. The Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. The, the Lord, Lord made us, we, we belong, belong to him. Friends, the Lord be with you. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He said to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge or arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed. For one, though, may be rich. One's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? for I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, this is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods, and I say, shall say to myself, to as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus it will be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, the other day I was um, going through my closets and I thought, my God, I have so many clothes. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Well, I mean, how much do you really need? And what really got me to do that was something about St. Basil. If you remember him, he was a monk and a bishop of the Eastern Church. Here's what he said. See if this is helpful. The bread with which you hold back belongs to the hungry. The coat 
with which you guard in your locked storage chest belongs to the naked. The footwear moldering in your closet belongs to those without shoes. The silver that you keep hidden in a safe place belongs to the one in need. Thus, however, many are those whom you could have provided for, so many are those whom you wrong. And you kind of think about that, we really do have so, so very much. And it's just kind of a reminder of what we can share. We can share material things. We can share spiritual things. We can share God's forgiveness. We can share God's love. We can share God's unconditional love, which we probably need so much in our world today. So I'd ask us today to take a look at the things we hold on to. Sometimes we even hold on to memories, and therefore, whether they're good or bad, it prevents us from living today. And it prevents us from living today. It helps, it, it hurts us from looking to tomorrow. Tomorrow being life, eternal life with God. God bless. For the church, that may always be a sign of hope, we pray. For those people that have asked us to keep them in our prayers, we pray. For those who suffer physical and or emotional pain, we pray. God our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to bless our lives through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to give you, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to give you, food of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Loving God, we offer you these gifts of bread and wine, which you bless and give back to us as the body and blood of your Son. We thank you for this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but the wonders of your might. In your mercy you have given to their faith, to the endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours. So once again we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember the deceased members of the Falzone family and Andrew Kosiski Sr., whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. 
May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. Let's offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Loving God, drawing strength from this sacrifice, may we cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May God's blessing continue to guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good day, everyone.